Here is my Blackberry and this is Evernote. Now the first time you open the application you will be presented with this screen. If you already have an Evernote account simply enter your information and sign in. But you can also choose to create an account. This will open up the Blackberry browser with the Evernote mobile website. But since I already have an account I can skip this part and sign in right away. There we go. Now the application is authenticating. And here we are, the home screen of Evernote. From here we have the option to create a text note, take a snapshot, record an audio note, and also upload a file. At the bottom there is a search bar, which can be used to search your existing notes. In the menu, we can view recent notes, pending notes, change our settings, check for updates, and enable usage of GPS. I'll make a text note. This will present me this screen with the title, content, notebook, and tags. I'll get to this in a moment. Let's give our note a title. How about Incredible Note? For content, something like uh, from a Blackberry. Yeah, that sounds good. From my Blackberry. Okay. Now, in Evernote, you can have multiple notebooks. For instance, a notebook for work, for private use, school projects, and so on. Since I already, since I only have one notebook, I will choose that. And then I can tag my note, for instance, I'll tag this berry. And if I have any existing saved tags, I can choose those as well. Now, to save this note, I'll choose the Save Note option from the menu. And now it's uploading. And the upload finished. That was quite quick. So, next up we have the option to make a snapshot, which will open the native camera application. I actually have this guy here, of which we can take a picture. Yeah, that's good. And now, we need to back out from the application. And then we have this familiar screen again. We don't actually need to put in any content since the snapshot itself is the content, so I'll just give it a title. Um, incredible picture. Yeah, I know it's a bit corny. <laughs> okay, and I'll also tag this with Barry. Save and save note. Since this is a big file, it will take a bit to upload it. Now, how do I know when it's finished? Well, I can actually have a look at the pending notes, and as you can see, here we have our incredible picture tagged with Barry in pending notes. Once this is vanished from here, it means that the picture has uploaded, and the note is synchronized with the Evernote web server. Okay, now it's done. The upload finished. Now. I have the option to record an audio note, but for some reason or another it does not really work on my storm. Have a look. When I click on record it will tell me that the permissions for Evernote are not properly set. Which is quite funny actually, because if you have a look at the permissions I've set for Evernote, they're all allow. So there's something wrong in the application. I can't record. Also, upload file doesn't really work, it just does not make anything, despite numerous attempts to launch it. Nothing works. Well, let's have a look at recent notes. This will open up the Blackberry browser, 
and the Evernote mobile interface for um, where we can see our recent notes which should be the incredible picture and the incredible note just like I said great now we also have the search bar here at the bottom let's search for instance incredible I want to know what kind of results we get and this too will open the Blackberry browser and it found our incredible note and the incredible picture okay now other features in the application there aren't much you can enable usage of GPS to geotag your notes let's actually check for updates latest version installed okay from here you can also change your Evernote account settings these are not actually the settings for the application itself but rather your Evernote account settings so nothing really interesting to see there and that was my walkthrough for Evernote for Blackberry version 30249